glorify the king. Another rainy, stormy day, early in the morning. On the 31st of May, it was worse than this. Six, between six and seven o'clock in the morning, Justice Milton Evans, you fix that case, case number 01341, forward slash 2012, heard before you on the 31st of May. You had that case time to be heard changed to 9.30 in the morning on a morning like this. When was time to deal with the divorce and the naysay with the children? Each of those cases, sir. You heard those cases. Okay? 11 a.m. in the morning. And then when it was time to deal with the First Caribbean International Bank. Amos Miller, you changed the date for 9.30 in the morning with no knowing no court reporter or your scheduled court reporter that is norm normally scheduled in that court would not be in that court. I reached a court four minutes after 10, a reasonable time given take the weather all court, magistrate court start at least 10 or 11. This is how the outside is, okay? I don't have a trance, and it was absolutely ridiculous outside that day. In fact, days leading up to the 31st of May, the news media, Cable 12, ZNS, all of them went around New Providence, throughout the Crip, uh, Caribbean, um, the, um, the Bahamian Islands, sorry videotaping the damages from the severe weather we were experiencing. I would like to know, that date was scheduled for, with the First Caribbean Bank for another day. They changed it from the original date to that particular day that was storming outside. Justice Milton Evans, you know, you did someone a favor in respect, in respect to Amos J. Miller Israel. Why you did it? It's irrelevant. We know why you did it, sir. Under the Constitution of the Bahamas, you have prejudice, case number 01341, forward slash 2012, heard before you. The very same people that brought that case against me also brought a case against me. In 2011, heard before Justice Milton Evans, case number 00995, forward slash 2011 I heard before Justice Milton ever uh, Chief Justice Michael Barnett who knew at the time I had a right to represent myself but they want to railroad me out of my land that I worked hard for that I paid a Bethel for that I paid Sunshine Insurance plenty money okay plenty money in the 10 years I would have owned that property and in regards to the first, at least, first eight years because I was going through this difficulty with these people simply because my ex-wife left the home when Hubert Ingram was rocking the country. More 94, Mr. Bodhi, another radio station, they, they, they took me off the airwaves. So my point of view uh, in respect to my constitutional right in regards to freedom of expression at the time when other behemoths was expressing the, the, dis, the, the discomfort and the what they were going through, what we were going through, how we were being technically tortured, tormented by the former Prime Minister, Member of Parliament for North Africa, former Minister of Finance, Hubert Alexander Ingram. These people have bankrupt this nation and is talking where they're going fishing. Y'all could go fishing, but just understand, whatever monies y'all get, the kind of damages what the Bahamian people is going to see to it that happened to y'all finances, because listen, I'm going to expose y'all. It's just a matter of time. Y'all have brought great harm and embarrassment to my home and to my name. Simply because I admitted on national airwaves that I was sexually molested by a male. All right? That's what, and I publicly said it, so my ex-wife preferred to have her pride and her so-called life as usual. She betrayed me to go along with the system. Who knows that this young man, on the 17th year of reigning sovereigns, Queen Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Reign, this boy mother, 
had him on the 2nd of June, 1970, the very day, representing the day she was celebrating, 16 years before that day. In fact, she was celebrating on that day, okay, or preparing to celebrate on that day when my birth was announced to the world, okay? Now, Justice Milton Evans, in my humble opinion, sir, you're at justice and I got to be very careful what I say because I don't want to give the wrong impression to anyone else who's going to watch this tape and believe this video, this deep, this, whatever this is, believe, to believe they can disrespect a justice of any country, especially the Bahamas. I'm not disrespecting you, sir. I'm telling it like it is because I have no money. You know why? My ex-wife waited, okay, for all of this to happen and pick the right time. She was a mold planted in my life so she could have baby, have children with this young man and then 12 years, nine months later plus, she can say she only married this young man to get out of a bad situation. It is absolutely egregious, Justice Milton Evans, what you allow to happen in regard, and I'm not saying, sir, you did not give me up the opportunity to defend myself in regards to the divorce and the nasty with the ex-wife and the children. I, I am not saying that. What I'm saying, sir, in that case, you claim in regards to the divorce, naysay, because I never challenged the divorce itself. I let that went through. You gave her that on my son's birthday, April 10th, granted that divorce to her. April 10th, okay, 2012. She took that divorce out after she left my house the 30, the 21st of March 2011, sir. Shortly after that, March, between March, April, May, Getty Sonatas, Emmanuel Francis, Tom Neese, and the G Water Processing Technologies, Tom Neese, out of Florida, they were making and bringing cases against me because of a fight that ended up taking place after about two months after that between the, one of the accused and myself. These people tried to railroad me and cover up corruption in Aqua Designs, formerly known G Water Processing Technologies, formerly known as Aqua Designs Bahamas Limited. I have no time to play. No one can take anything from me. Every drop of electrical wiring in any one of the possessions that I have possessions to will bring me the finance I need to copy right now. I can either take it out of the building or y'all can pay y'all reparation to this house. That's Glorify the King, the Most High, the Adonai, Yahweh Adonai, the Elohim. I don't believe in no Jesuit story. I'm a Hebrew Israelite and under the Bohemian Constitution I claim all of my sovereignty as a Bohemian, full breed, full blooded, bloodlined native Bahamian from Africa. I agreed, Teresa Moxie Ingram. You were offended because perhaps you have Haitian roots in your blood. It does not matter, ma'am. The point of the matter, you have owned a school in this country. Have you ever taught in your school the true nature of black Bahamian biblical history in regards to Africa, Ethiopia, and in regards to Kemet? the ancient African civilization? Have you ever taught your children what does their parent have to pay your school and schools like you to, to, to get this kind of knowledge? Y'all are angry, upset, because I'm giving the knowledge away for free. God gave you breath today to watch this video for free. You didn't pay for it, right? Good. So that's why you should do some things in this world for free. And the day God charged you for his breath, then you can, or the day God charged me, for breathing of air of life. Huh? His breath of life? Then I will charge for things like this. Other than that, I will create special videos. Okay? In regards to sale. This has nothing to do with sale. This has something to do with a black boy from Pineville, Acklands. The universal, a, black, a, a, a little church in Pineville, Acklands, established, built and dedicated to the community of Pineville, Acklands, where my grandfather lived, my grandmother lived, the wife of Alfred Virginius Cornelius Gray, born and lived. Okay, these people are trying to defraud me out of my name to do some favor for who? The Acklands Islands, Southeast Islands, 
once recognized my grandfather as a good man, a man who meant his people and his community well. Now, as long as Hubert A. Alexander Ingram was in office, my life was to be made known like I was some criminal, some bad behemoth. And as long as Perry Glass and Christie is there, that's my lot. That's because the truth of the matter, they know I am a true blood, blood, a full blood line behemoth. They have some kind of mixture in them, whether it's Jamaican, Haitian, or wherever they're from. I respect all nationality because God created us all equal and gave each of us a measure of fate. This is my fate to tell General Electric. Any form of aggression through the awarding by, in my humble opinion, by a questionable judge who have granted, in my humble opinion, and made an order of possession in regards to my property. No, in my side of the story was not heard. And it was not heard because he did not want to be a fair justice to allow, like he heard the, the boss,